A grand example of the country's obsession with gold and religion is the Sri Puram Golden Temple situated in Bellore. This majestic shrine is made with over 1.5 tons of pure gold. Often called the Golden Temple of the South, the spiritual abode spans across over 100 acres of land. In Hindu mythology, some of the goddesses are described as golden hued, the ultimate beauty. Mythological tales tell us how gods and goddesses rode on golden chariots. Gold has always been considered a sacred item in the Hindu way of life. The magnificent patterns carved on the temple walls and jewelry are nothing short of mythological stories gilded in gold. More than 400 gold and copper smiths are said to have worked on this piece of art for six years. Every single detail of the shrine has been carefully handcrafted, whether it be beating the giant chunks of gold into gold foils or mounting the golden foils on the copper base of the temple structure. For as far as one's eyes can follow, gold is the only constant. From the spire to the pillars, the courtyard to the inner sanctorum, the temple is woven in the strings of faith and gold. A 70 kg stone granite marble idol covered in gold of the principal deity of the temple, Sri Mahalakshmi is seated within the Sanctum Sanctorum. Thousands of devotees visit the temple every day to seek the goddess's golden blessings. Gold is an integral part of India's belief system and the Sri Puram Golden Temple stands testimony to this